press new and add a camera I, I don't know if you need any settings I just keep the default camera settings okay now the cameras on top now you want to add nulls so I'm gonna add at least like three nulls you want to make sure motion blurs off that's what I do uh, but like what you want to make sure is click the 3d layer box thing and then you want to parent this camera to this first null this null to this null this null to this null and now everything should be connected now what you want to do is start with a transition uh, I usually I'm uh, for this tutorial I'm gonna start with a basic um, scale transition I'm gonna use position for this one is um yeah because I have on 3d this third one gives you like thing I'm gonna like zoom it in by a bunch and now I'm gonna easy ease and right here this is the graph that I use it's a uh, like this get this plugin it's called flow you'll find it for free all right there we go and now you want to add the, the the camera movement right so I usually go at least two or one frame in forward forward like in front now you would you would keyframe position go to the end keyframe position again go and, and then on the end frame you want to you want to move you want to move your character or you want to move to wherever you want so I'm gonna go over to this girl over here I'm gonna go like this way this way I'm gonna zoom in a bit because you can see the motion tile here don't want to see that okay so I zoomed in yeah okay, now it looks like it looks all right but you want to you want to easy use these keyframes and you want to add a graph the graph I use it's a uh, hop into this thing into graph editor open up speed graph okay the graph I use uh, I'm gonna open, make this a bit more wide is I want to put this in the middle like this in the middle I don't want it to be very hard though see, see you want to like a little bump like this that's how I usually do it and yeah so I made this graph and if you guys have flow um just copy this graph this um yeah and now what it should what it would look like right now is like that I'm a, I'm a, I'm a mess with the graph a bit more and make it a bit harder because this song is um more hardcore make it a bit more hard that's a lot harder and now it goes into the person now you want to make the ending transition which is like one of the easiest ones you want to go the opposite direction that you that you did your like camera movement so I'm gonna go to the right so this way and you don't want to show any motion tile that's like the number one rule and copy this grasp boys uh, this is just a hard graph you should know and then yeah boom boom and I'm gonna do this this one over here uh, you want to just be like more creative with it and this is gonna be the graph I'm gonna I mean this is gonna be what I'm gonna do all right so again 3d connect the nulls and everything um you wanna you wanna do the position? It came from the right, so I'm gonna go to the left a bit. All right, boom. Use this graph over here. Which is a very like which is a hot. That's quite quite nice. And this like oh, goes out. This goes out like that. I'm gonna do a um um. So see how this um goes out like this. This. I'm gonna start the camera movement around here when it goes out and I want to move the camera to the to yeah I have not watched the lead up but like yeah okay now let's do the, do the the graph once again go into this speed graph open this up make this a bit like Get it to the middle of the clip. Boom. And then. And then. Uh, that looks pretty nice. 
and then I'm gonna P go there and I'm gonna go the opposite direction where I went which is gonna be this way and try not to show any motion tile and do this right here and that's this is what it should look like that is very nice I am not gonna lie so I hope you hope you enjoyed uh, uh, I'm not planning to do more tutorials because they fucking take too long. So yeah, bye.